Alright, so who's ready to get stupid? So, um, first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and save my profile, because why not? Well, I might. So, I ended up driving 1184 miles throughout this journey. That's cool. But anyways, to uh, use these cheat codes, we need to actually make a new profile with a specific name. So, in order to actually activate the cheat menu, or unlock the cheat menu, we need to uh, make a profile named Secrets. Yeah, yeah. Just not gonna bother saving because I don't need to. But now, I should probably turn auto save off or else it's gonna give me that prompt every time. Okay, there we go. So now, with Secrets profile, we go to the trophy room and we have a third menu for cheats. So, we have game cheats, we have fun cheats, and then the real cheat is where we type in the codes. So, uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna type in all the codes, and then we're gonna faff about. Okay, finally got all the cheats inputted. So, here's what we have. So, for game cheats, we have, um, we have unlock all cars, which, you know, that. So the code was that for with that for that was gimme cars. We have unlock all tracks to use in just a single stage mode. Which the code was gimme worlds. Uh, we have the just unlock everything, which is gimme the lot. All lowercase, no spaces. Ultra hired opponents, so all opponents post superior times. Let's see which one was that. Tough guys, that's that's the code for that. Invulnerable car. So no damage, so destroy it all you want, no damage. That is shield of steel. And then crippling damage. Player's car is retired from the race, takes a substantial amount of damage. It hurts. Those are all the game cheats. Now, the fun cheats. Oh, the fun cheats. So pinball collision, bouncy bouncy collisions that is a uh, McAdam M-A-C Adam chicken co-driver your co-driver is a chicken no really uh, that code is no one here but us uh, we have a helium co-driver which code for that is probably my favorite code cast straight not kidding rolling road road moves in con disconcerting way uh, let's see which one is that Oh, spiked juice, that one's that. Motion blur, or motion blur, is need glasses. Random language code calls, which is interesting. Minty fresh is that one. Thick fog, which we may have seen earlier, way earlier. P super is the code for this one. Top down camera, it's gonna be interesting. Fishy fingers, oh god, upside down, that's gonna be fun to deal with. Anti podian. A-N-T-I-P-O-D-E-A-N. I don't know how that's pronounced, but that's the code for that. And our final code is Alternative Car Noises, which is plain foolish. So, let's fat, let's fuck around with some code. So I'm gonna unlock the, er, I'm gonna activate that. Oh, I can only have one of these codes active at once, okay. Well. Let's start with the ultra hard opponents, I suppose, and uh, yeah, we'll do the fun cheats. Uh, I'll do a code at a time. I'll probably just go through like a stage sector at a time or something. Um, except this one, which I might have to do like a whole stage to show it off. Okay, change plans. We're not gonna deal with the freaking gameplay cheese because that didn't seem ultra hard at all. In fact, I don't even think it was working. Oh, uh -huh, whatever. So, I mean, this is just you know, like oh hey, invincible. Oh, you can actually DNF. Blah 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 blah. It's it's nothing really. Turn on the global unlock so I at least have everything unlocked. But let's deal with the fun cheats. So this is what we need. So start with. I can only have one active at a time, so. Start with the pinball collisions, and uh, what I'll do is I'll go to a stage, do like the first sector of a stage, and then uh, 
Or we can just do a quick race, actually. Let's see, do I have everything unlocked now? No. Why are these not working? I don't think the codes are actually working. Okay, so apparently this shit... Oh, I know. I can only have one code active, period, I bet. I bet that's why, so let's see. Yep, okay, I can only have one code on at a time, period. That's why. Alright. Well, let's do pinball collisions, and, uh... Let's just, let's just, I'll just go to quick race each time, do first sector, see what this is all about. So, uh, let's see how bouncy the car actually is. Hopefully there's enough things to hit here. Three, two, let's find one, out, I'm driving a Schwartz. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Not that bouncy, really. Okay, slightly bouncy. I don't know, the car is not looking that bouncy, to be honest. Can I jump? Fuck it. Oh, that's a solid fence. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this doesn't seem to uh, change much. Maybe the collisions are slightly bouncier, but that didn't seem to do much at all. Oh well. That was a bit underwhelming. Well, let's go to the next cheat, which I know will work. The chicken co-driver. This one's gonna be funny. So, uh, going to Catalonia. That's the Nita Queen. And uh, I'm not going to talk because this is one we this is an audio thing. Not sure if they have to do with each individual pace note, but could this be called Chicken Run? You're not, you're not the only one that can make bad chicken puns. This is fantastic. Fuck. Whoever they got to do the chicken noises is very good at making chicken noises. It's chicken shit, not chicken asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Jeez, John. Oh, shut up, man. Okay, well, I think we've had our fun with that. Uh, that was fantastic. Fucking brack, brack. Well, at least I know the codes work. Alright, so, uh... We're gonna go... We're, we're not giving Phil a break yet. We're gonna go from turning him into a chicken to, um... Injecting him with, like, a bunch of helium. So let's see what high-pitched Phil Mills sounds like. We're gonna castrate Phil Mills. Since, you know, the code for this was castrate. Oh. Well, that was kind of... That kind of sucks. They didn't, like, pitch shift them. They just kind of, uh... Like, sped up the audio track, which... Back in the day, if you sped up an audio track, it... Well, 
Um, they like it, it shifted it higher because I don't fucking know why. So it's actually just fast, and the speed increase uh, does a bit shift. It's interesting. Probably shut up and let actually like let you listen to him. The only thing, the, the only thing that this, this reminds me of is like back in like 2010, where there was like 15 trillion fucking like Alvin and the Chipmunks version of song, which is just slightly faster and very highly pitch shifted. Like they sped it up. It's like wow, what an original idea. It's clearly the Alvin and the Chipmunks because not only do they sing at a high pitch, they also do everything faster. This one, this one I'm interested in. Rolling Road, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this, but here we go. Honestly, I watched, I watched, I think I watched the whole first movie, the whole first uh, live action chipmunk movie. It wasn't that bad. Other than the shitty pop music you would expect from that. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one, go. It, well, it's, it's moving. The world is oh my god. That is freaky. Kinda of hoping it would cause more undulations and shit, but I don't think it actually changes the architecture of the road. It's just It's moving. It's a mudslide. This is your brain on drugs. Oh, oh, Caution, uh, oh, oh, moving faster than the road, shit. Alright, so it moves at about 12 miles per hour. Science. Oh, that's pretty neat. Too bad you can't combine codes, because that would be amazing, because I could recreate something like the fucking, the funkiest rally. Unfortunately, this game isn't fun enough. Boy, motion blur, I can't wait to freaking have my eyes die. Are you okay? Oh boy, motion blur, New Zealand. Let's go. God, <laughs> manga speed. Very good. Alright. Three, two, one. Go. Oh. Right. Yep, I see the motion blur. Not sure how well you can see it, but I see it and I don't like it. Thanks, I hate it. It's probably not as bad at half the frame rate. Or at 25 FPS, but at 50, it's just like. Long chicane into one right over crest. Over bridge into long two left. Okay, three left over crest into. This is torture. Okay, enough of this. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. To think that would that would become like normal for most racing games, especially in like the mid 2000s. It's like, where they hid motion blur behind a cheat, that was becoming the norm. Oh boy. Multi... It's time for Phil to become multilingual. Also, the game is really, like, choosing Argentina for some reason. So, uh... Let's... Let's see what we got here. Colme. Coxie. Pepsi. Pepsi. Pepsu. And I only know. I only. 
I only know English, so I have no idea if these are like alternating between languages. Possibly. Let's find out. Maybe it is local. That was that. Let's see if we go to a different stage. Alright. Let's see if he uh, speaks Spanish here since we're going to Mexico. God. Are you okay in different languages? Oh no. That's the Spanish. Alright, so the language has changed to it, the local language of the rally. I gotta hear, are you okay in Spanish? There we go. Yeah, that's, are you okay in Spanish? Actually, that might be what are you doing in Spanish. I don't fucking know. That's neat. I was hoping it'd be like actually like random, like it would just choose like a different fucking language for each call as you go through the stage, but no, that's fine. Oh hey, thick fog. We've actually seen this before. Because this was actually active in one of the uh the pro driver challenges. Remember the fucking foggy ass Monte Carlo rally? That's what this is. At least I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's exactly what Three, this is. Two, one, go. So. Long four right into five left through chicane. It's just like that uh Three left that one into one challenge right where it was like a very foggy left. Monte Carlo rally. Sneakily added that or uh, activated that cheat code during the uh, that challenge. Which was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Like, hey, you got this, might as well uh, maybe do something out of it. Also, I can still kind of see where I'm going. Like, it's not thick enough to where I can't fucking see at all. I can still vaguely see where I'm going, so it's not that bad. Like, I can see far ahead enough on the road to know, like... Shut up, Phil. I'm gonna go s No. Okay, well that's cool. Be thick. Morning, dude. It was fucking foggy, like, all night last night here. The entire fucking night. Alright, it's only a couple more to go, and then we're done with the game. So, top-down camera. It's, it's Micro Machines time. Are you ready? Are you ready? In the snow, even. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh my. It's long not just right right. top-down, it's, it's, yeah, it's isometric, oh god. Long three left into four right. I feel like I'm playing real-world real world racing. Oh, this is impossible. There's no fucking way. Long two right tightens. I dare someone to actually, like, win a rally with this camera activated. I ain't Long doing it. Right and three left. That's for sure. Very it's really cool, one though. Right plus one right into Long four it's left. absolutely impossible to fucking actually drive this way, but it's actually really cool. Okay, so a couple more to go. What's next? Tell me what's next. It's the upside down world. Are you ready to go to the upside down? So that's what we're about to do. Aw, oh, damn. I was really hoping it would choose uh, Australia or New Zealand for this. 
it would have been the most meta of jokes. Oh dear. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, it's just, it's flipped upside down, not turned upside down, so left is still left. Right is still right. This is how Australians, uh, see the rest of the world. This is actually the Palaz version. Oh! Went the wrong way. I thought... Turned the wheel the wrong way. Like, because it's flipped and not turned upside down, I thought... God damn it, I did it again. Oh well. No, you. Alright, that's mine. Fuck. The Australian way of life, yes. And our fun. Oh, oh. <laughs> Trophy case is upside down. <laughs> oh, we have to see if anything else is upside down. Yeah, okay, see if the car selects. Screen is upside down. Please. Yes! <laughs> ah, that's fantastic. Let's explore the car in Australia. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Again, it's a shame you can't stack codes. Cheats. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Okay. I don't think anything else is going to be upside down. No, alright. Well, that, was, that was pretty great. <laughs> and then the land down under. I come from a land down under. Anyways, final cheat is alternative engine noises. Oh god, trophy case is still upside down. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got here. God damn, game really likes choosing Argentina. So, what we got here for a grand finale? Three, two, one, go. On to left. That's a weird sound. Long straight. Three left. Care outside. Sounds like a. Uh... Caution. Kind of sounds like an engine sound for my like Gran Turismo 2. This it sounds like it. I want to. I want to do a different car. See if I get a different sound. If I do a different car, I mean, hopefully, get a different car. See. Uh, see what we got here. That was the Skoda, right? So. Three, two, oh, it's the same one, sound. Damn. Go. All right. Long four right into five left through chicane. <laughs> Three left into long six right and six left. Again, a little underwhelming. Long six right into very long heavy left. Very long five right tightens through chicane. And it is blendery. Very long head in left into four right. Yeah, it sounds like an engine sound left. from Grand Turismo 2. Oh yeah, chicken Very fill is probably the highlight right. of this. Five left and five right. Six left. Road narrows over bridge onto straight. Okay. Well, I think that's all we had to see, so. Or all we need to see. That's. That's that. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Got nothing. Yeah, it does sound like there, someone just did, like. You know. That's all the cheat codes, and, uh. 
I guess that's the end of WRC4. I don't really have anything else to say, so... Yeah, that's all I got. Um, again, this game, really fun to play. Uh, definitely upgrade from WRC3. Sure, there's some things that were uh, not in this game that was in 3. That I kind of wish was in this game still, but... Oh well. But, uh... That was that, so... It's another game complete. So, uh... There's only one more Evolution WRC game left. And... I want to get to it, like, soon, but, um... I kind of want to wait until I build my new PC, so I actually might have a chance of recording this at, or streaming this at 50 FPS instead of 25. Maybe. That'd be nice. But, um, but yeah, till then, thanks for watching this Let's Play. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.